Hi, I'm Congressman Darren Soto, and this weekend we have the sixth remembrance of the tragedy at the Pulse nightclub, um, which happened back in 2016. So many of us remember waking up very early on that Sunday morning by a fury of texts to find out that our community had fundamentally changed. Our happy little town of Orlando became the site of the deadliest shooting in the nation at that time. We lost 49 angels, most of them from the LGBTQ community, many Hispanic, African American, and others. who were just there to have a good time when a deranged lunatic from out of town and domestic terrorists came in and cut their lives short and injured 53 other Orlandoans. We will not let our community be defined by that hate. We saw it first off with Orlando Regional Medical Center, helping out 76 patients with emergency surgeries. It happened, thankfully, that it was so close to the Pulse nightclub that many folks were able to be saved. And I want to take a moment to thank our doctors, our nurses, our EMTs, our law enforcement, our firefighters, so many others that came together to help out these victims. And then the healing had to continue. The very next day is when we were there that morning at the blood center, and we saw it both in John Young over in Florida's 9th Congressional District as well as in downtown, where so many folks donated blood to help out the victims and replenish our uh, blood stocks in uh, Central Florida. We also saw so many companies step up, so many folks donate to help what is now the One Orlando Foundation for helping the families, helping the victims recover from the mental health issues that they still face to this day. And I want to thank all of us who came to pay our respects when the bells rang 49 times in front of the Orlando Arts Center as we read off the names of the victims. We need to continue by honoring them with action. And on this sixth remembrance, I'm proud to report, we have passed into law the National Pulse Memorial, which passed out of the Senate just before the last remembrance was signed into law soon after. So that the whole nation, which mourned at the time of this shooting, can learn about the history of this terrible event and how our community came together to support one another in the aftermath. We also are honoring them with action this week, before this sixth remembrance, by pushing forward key gun safety reforms to raise the age for assault weapons to 21 years of age, to pass red flag laws uh, so that those who can endanger themselves or others uh, can be adjudicated to not have a firearm, to ban ghost guns, to ban uh, bump stocks and other of these uh, dangerous weapons of war. We're going to continue this progress that we committed to in 2016. And I hope everybody has a reflection and an, an important memories that they can talk to. And if you need help going forward, there are many mental health services that folks can reach out to in Central Florida. Let me end by saying I hope to see many of you at the Six Remembrance this Sunday. And we stand with the 49 angels we lost, the 53 injured, their families, and so many others affected by this terrible tragedy. And we vow to never let it happen again.